Okay. Okay, not me looking like an egg, but it's gonna get better because to get ready with me. I think it's a good timing because now my skin is not the best, thus I will do makeup. Recently, the hormones have been acting weird, so I've tried to do like a slick back. I think maybe I should cut these. I definitely do not recommend doing it by yourself yeah it's not really warm lighting or anything because it's kind of um season so so for the face i have a roman bare water cushion foundation it's o2 and my dual concealer this is the best concealer that I've had ever. I've tried NARS. What other brands? Clinique, I think. Then I have this Dior blush. Rosy Glow. 001 Pink. These are everyday and these are occasion. So, another everyday item is the tear eyeliner. I'm a toxic person because I use this as a as a highlighter which works better than an eyeliner honestly if you want to buy this tear eyeliner as an actual eyeliner hmm, it's the benefit 24 hour brow setter then I have the lip glow color reviver bone it's my favorite lip balm ever. It's a dual one and it's in the color mahogany. Okay, O20 is the color. The first thing <laughs> uh, I will do is actually apply the concealer and what I wanted to talk about was we live in time. I've recently, just two weeks ago, saw this film and honestly, I loved it. I know that some people, there are different kind of kinds of people, obviously. Those who loved it and pretend that they did not to impress their peers. And those who loved it and actually love it and they just, they're being normal about it. Because honestly, I love that movie. But also, obviously, there are people who didn't like it and all opinions are valid except for those who loved it and then they go and they tell someone actually it sucked like mm, it sucked and it's it does not deserve anything and this movie is horrible just because they want to prove to someone that they i don't know know a thing or two about cinema and they pretend to not like the things that they do like just because their opinion is swifted very easily I, I literally i think i saw like a video that person said uh if you loved it don't tell anyone else that you did and i think that's very toxic because um that just literally pretending that you're not who you you're pretending to be who you are not and it's it's weird to me because it's your opinion but i understand why some people may, may do this and i feel bad for them because um just enjoy the things that you enjoy i like the film because first of all i think the actors are just perfect for these roles and florence Pugh especially because she is so good at cooking herself so um it's, at least that's just what i know i don't know if she has any ties to culinary or she just loves and is very good at cooking 
also I think that that character is very suit suiting for her as well as Andrew Garfield, I think he just nailed the role of to Tobias the characters were very straight to the point but also not traumatizing for their child because the topic is actually serious I don't know why, why people may shit on the topic and say it was not like open enough or whatever I think personally that this movie may be very inspiring at points and I like how they did not necessarily say that like yeah this way is the correct one or uh, doing the chemotherapy is the correct one or uh, abandoning or choosing to just live a fulfilled life for what you have left is the right way but they show her trying different things and that's very precious to see i think in the, in the end of the day um it's important to understand what message you're tra you were transmitting uh to your audiences so that was a nice move i also really liked um the character Alma. i don't know i think she ate she ate uh, also Florence Pugh rocked this role again I'm, I'm saying this because I think that the purpose of this movie was not to be necessarily um, very artistic or appealing to the audience of cinephiles who are very knowledgeable about like I don't know cinema in general so it was just for people and it was to make people feel something and it did and for that reason i call it a great movie because it did achieve what it was supposed to achieve it caused the whole theater to cry like we were all just sobbing throughout the whole movie and i was sitting uh literally a few a few sits away from a full-on grown man who went there alone just to see the film and he was crying there for the whole time that's, that's amazing seeing people that engage with something and having those raw um, emotions I think it's very nice and for that reason I really liked the film liquid eyeliner that I'm using as a highlighter um, Although there were like some maybe cringy moments like that day where um, I think Tobias asked Alma to marry him I also really appreciate the fact that actually Tobias is very like he listens to her He listens to her and it's amazing and for me they show the healthiest couple that I've seen on the screen for many 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 years and I don't know, maybe I'm wrong but I think that they were a very healthy couple they did have arguments and that's important that being like together with someone is... I wouldn't know, I wouldn't know I've been single for this whole time okay, but um, I think it's healthy to have arguments that just know how and how to listen to each other right because they did at the end and it's beautiful for that reason so i think that believe in time is a very beautiful movie it may have some flaws from the cinematographic cinematographic or plot wise for me it was very good for me even the time period it was understandable okay if you didn't get it, not the not the film's problem because honestly, it, it's understandable. So literally, the makeup took like twenty minutes with all the talking, like nineteen minutes. I still have topics to discuss. You might actually say that I was not mad, but you know, like be so for real with those people who say like if you like to live in time, don't tell this to anyone. Um, girl, I loved it, and I'm gonna keep on saying that I loved it because it's a good movie, in my opinion. Again, my opinion. Yeah, I usually do this makeup actually, 
like if I feel like doing makeup makeup you know what do you think what do we what do we what do we, what are we thinking okay so for the outfit though fuck I'm tall then this uh was it what was that guy was like measuring people's heights can you actually tell me how tall i am because i have no idea as for the outfits i already have the bottoms set because i know what i want i want these jeans these are i think these are bdg jeans as for the top though i was thinking this t-shirt it looks pretty oversized for me maybe we just know the black hoodie <laughs> i think it's gonna be pretty cold in the theater so it's either i'm going to wear a t-shirt with something or oh just a t-shirt and a hoodie on top it's so boring what do you think? what do you think? maybe try on try on I know I don't know like it's pretty cold so many questions and no answers wow <sighs> this generation am I right? As for the bag, that could work. That could work. That could really work. So usually, it's actually not as cool. I was, I was just dramatic. As for the jewelry, let's see. Let's see. A ring. Should I co cosplay Anora with my cheap ass ring, or or stay normal and just put it where I usually put it? By the way, I'm going to see Anori. Have I have I ever mentioned it while filming filming this? I Crickets. This is actually a problem, and no one's really talking about it, or rather, no one's really actually making a difference. Срочное включение, срочное включение, господа. Кроме того, что меня забулили в авто. I was doing something with like a can. Because um, I have to fidget all the time. So uh, I was kind of unwrapping a can. Doesn't make sense. Like a metallic can, whatever. Um, and then I felt like someone was staring at me. So I look to my right and there is this guy just like, like looking at what I'm doing and then we make eye contact and you know when you are staring at someone then they look back at you and you try to make it seem like <laughs> you're looking in completely opposite direction and you were not actually looking at them yeah he did that so i was like okay so n now there is a person on the bus who just th thinks that i'm weird uh, cool okay so i just saw nora Uh, do I have to tell you it's a 10 out of 10 or... I think it's objective. It's definitely uh, a movie that just hits you at some point. Like the final scene, it was one of the most power powerful scenes that I saw in movies ever. Like, you know the superhero shit, the Dune shit, where this you know all of that doesn't matter it doesn't matter because nothing hits you like real life and this ending is very real you know the same happened when i was watching 25 21 because the ending was so real if you don't think that it's like a rom-com or something girl no like no i'm gonna tell you right now i don't know if there are people who think it's like pretty woman or stuff because girl no anora that's the name of the main character and 
name of the movie. I can't guarantee that she fell in love with Ivan, you know, the, the guy with rich parents, but it was her hope, her hope which she was holding on to until the very end. And when it shattered, like at the end, I just said, I was like, poor girl. I started just crying. And then I was walking to the bus like days, not to the point that it was like dangerous to walk in, but days in the sense that just thinking about all of that, it's a very, that's a very important film. By the end, I'm, I'm going to spoil now because at the end when Ivan is getting on the plane and he tells Anora that it was a fun time and she said something along the lines of it was it was fine for you and you really understand how for him it's just a regular it's just a regular thing and he really does not care and that for him it was just a fun getaway until his parents caught him for her it was everything it was her hope it was her dream <sighs> my fists were itching for real up until the very end like there are a lot of funny moments and the whole theater was laughing obviously and then the scene where Igor, I, uh, wait, Igor uh, drives her home, the whole crowd at the theater just fell silent, including me. And obviously, I don't talk in the cinema because I was alone. And everyone just fell silent. Like, you could barely hear any, like, rustle. When she proceeds to have sex with Igor because that's, that's the only thing she knows to do. She can't just say thank you because he gave her the ring and for her, he did so much, right? So she can't do it the other way. So she proceeds to put on the persona any like you might say right and Igor I think he really like he had feelings for Anora and you could see it just the way he also took care of her like honestly it was so precious to be seeing Russian actors um who commit and who did so much work and who actually start in the film by Sean Baker that's so crazy like yeah them giving press and seeing them doing this work was very um inspiring for me and very uh precious to me because you know usually it just oh like if it's a russian actor or it's a, if the character is russian just like a spy or a villain or a russian secret agent you know but here they were playing real people by the way i mikey madison i saw her in a lot of different works be before and she really helps to bring out that character of Anora. I mean it was kind of built around her if I'm not wrong. I was so engaged like I didn't look anywhere else but the screen. That's amazing. Like for real it's amazing. And it's not just built on like nostalgia. It's not just like okay it's postmodernism so we're relying on people's nostalgia. No. And Actors' work is amazing, like everyone, the way it's written is amazing. Yeah. I think you should go see it, definitely everyone should go see it. It's worth it, like it's worth it. Please, please do.